What's up guys, Icebreaker here. As you can see, I am on the Sneaky Peaks account, which means we're gonna be taking a look at this month's mega event. So, are the rumors true? Stay tuned and I'll show you. Okay guys, before we go any further, I just wanna point out the obvious. Um, if you don't know, this is a dev build, which is why it has um, a million diamonds and it's a level 80 and stuff um, it's an account that's been given to me by Supercell themselves so that I can record early access sneak peek content just like this video so that you guys all know what's coming up in Boom Beach it's not a hacked account it's not APK you cannot access this unless you work with or for Supercell so don't ask me how I did it because I just did so without further ado let's get into it all right then guys by rumors, if you don't already know, this is what I mean. This was posted in a video that Boom Beach posted on YouTube and Twitter and stuff. Um, it showed Dr. T drawing um, the Mega Turtles picture on a chalkboard, um, which kind of hints, um, well, I, I understood it as we were gonna be getting um, Mega Turtle this month, but that's not true, I'm afraid. Um, I got that wrong. I think most people have got it wrong. Um, that's because Dr. T is blatantly a liar. There's no other explanation, explanation for it. So Turtle isn't coming. It's just going to be us and the crab as always. For this month's crab then guys, the trophies are going to be as follows. For the stone trophy, you're going to need to get stage 10. Iron will be at stage 20. Gold will be at stage 40. Diamond will be stage 60 and legendary is stage 70 so no changes on what stages you need to get to to get your trophies uh, remember though you do have to already have diamond trophy from last time if you want to get legendary and if you've already got the couple of legendaries that we've got already then you'll be eligible to get legendary 3 which has got the th um, roman numerals for 3 um, on the base of it which is kind of cool okay then guys for this month's crab Again, temporary gunboat ability is obviously going to be the cryo bomb, and the troop perks this time are for the cryoneer. Obviously, um, stages one to nine you get fifty percent, and then it increases by twenty five percent every ten stages um, until stage sixty, where it changes to two hundred percent, and then it stays at two hundred percent from then on. Which we all know, cryoneer isn't an excellent troop for crab. To be fair. The Cryo Bomb is awesome, but Cryonia itself, um, she isn't overly useful on Crab. There are some stages where um, lots of single shot where you can use RCZM, but um, those stages are few and far between. So, not going to see um, much benefit from these perks, especially if you're pushing. On this account for statues at the moment, it's got six gumbo energy, four troop damage, and one troop health which isn't exactly optimal for crabbing. Um, if you um, need tips or advice on how to beat more stages and how to reach the stupidly high numbers that you see players on the leaderboard doing, I will leave a link for our how to beat the crab video up in the cards now. That video explains how, um, how players like us get to stages 200 and beyond. Um, statues are obviously key and having the optimal lineup is best for that. But for the purposes of the video, we're going to stick with 6, 4, and 1. And we're going to um, have a hit on the Mega Crab. We're going to do stage 61, because just because I want to show you what that cryo speed looks like at 200% um, when using our ZCM. Okay, so as you can see, it's mostly single shot defenses. So snipers and boom cannons and stuff. There are some rocket launchers and that thrown in too. And a um, little nest up here of doom cannons and stuff. Um, but we'll see how we get on. Obviously, this is unboosted, so we probably won't finish it. But um, I just want to show you the uh, the speed of these cryos. And as they come straight off the boats, running straight into action, not messing about, which is great. Now, when it comes to using your cryo bombs, um, obviously, you don't want them hitting your troops because they slow your troops down as well. But they're good for mine clearing um, and slowing down those defenses that. Um, the mainly the splash damage defenses um, are what you've got to worry about when using troop combos like this so obviously it's a splash damage and that what will take out most of your troops 
this attack is going horribly wrong as you can see but it's fine it's not uh, it's not important but the one thing you got to remember about using these cryos with the cryo speed is when it comes to reflaring as you'll see now because they're naturally faster than normal troops anyway plus 200 percent speed as you can see they're all going to get way out in front and get picked off by the boom cannons and the rocket launchers and anything else really um, so you are going to have to be careful when it comes to using um, flares and stuff because nine times out of ten you are going to lose um, your cryos and it's not worth wasting a shock um, or smokes and stuff to try and save them either so something to be mindful of um, as you're crabbing if you're using RZZM so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this month's mega crab um kind of disappointed it wasn't mega turtle i think most of us were expecting that at this point um not sure what these teaser picks mean but we'll see i guess um but yeah thanks for watching guys and if you don't mind leave us a like and share the video to help us grow the community that stuff's really really appreciated I'm Icebreaker, this is BBTFRG, I will catch you later, happy crabbing!